Good day guys, welcome to today's lesson on Start Pro Connect Edition. Today we shall learn how to model and analyze a Corvette on Start Pro. So I got a question from Phil Oscar on Naira Land and he said, Good afternoon, could you please do a tutorial on the design of a two cell 3x3 three three reinforced concrete Corvette? So we have something like this. So let's go to our Start Pro to mo model something like this. Now, start pro. There are two ways of modeling your Corvette. Either you model it in two D form or three D. So if you model it on two D, you are going to use the beam member. While if you model it with three D, you are going to use the plate member. The disadvantage of using the three D is that you won't be able to apply vehicular loading, with except you put beams on the slab. But in today's video, I'm not going to use vehicular loading. I'm only going to use the self weight, the weight of the asphalt, and the soil pressure by the side of the walls. So, if you want to learn how to put vehicular loading, I'm going to drop a link in my description on how to apply vehicular loadings. Okay, so let's start with our modeling. So, start with your origin. I'm using zero as my origin. Then, the next point is the height, which is three meters. Then from node A to node B, that is node 1 and node 2. Okay, so I have this. Uh, click this translational repeat in the x direction, default step spacing 3 meters, number of steps 2, then link step. Okay, so I have this. The next thing I do is copy this translational repeat in the z direction 8 meters. Okay, so you can see this. So once you are done with this, highlight it, go to add plates, under it, you see infill plates. Infill plate and you check the 3D rendering. You see that everywhere is fully plates, fully covered with plates. So we are going to delete this plate. And the beam. So I light the old beam, my beam cursor and delete. Yes. Then select my plate cursor, select plate cursor and delete this surface. So go to the front view. Okay, highlight this side and highlight this side. Then okay, so 3D rendering. So you can see something that looks like our culvert. The next thing we do now is to mesh the culvert. So display all structure. I like this right click and generate split mesh so division five sorry one then division five five for the lateral machine yes you can see our structure the next thing we do is assign property so the thickness is I'm going to assign point three add close assign to view to view so the next thing i'm going to do now is i can also check it on my 3d rendering i'm satisfied with what i have so i'll go to my support so into in this video i'm going to assign my mat support i'm going to assign it as a mat the base slab as a mat and i'm going to prop this side to prop it so create foundation Plate mat Y. Now I don't want there to be any uplift force, so I'm going to select compression only and add. Then create fixed board. So I release every other thing apart from FX. So add. So the first one is select my plate cursor. Go to the front view. I like the base nodes. Then assign to selected plates, assign. Okay. So this, I'm going to assign to these nodes. So I'm going to prop it, node cursor. Assign to these nodes and assign to these nodes. So assign to selected nodes, assign to selected nodes. Okay. So it's going to be like more like a propped cantilever. structure because if i don't prop it in start is going to see it as a wall which i don't want to have to prop so i have my loading 
load case details so i told you in the beginning of the video that i am only going to apply the self with the weight of the asphalt and this active soil pressure so i'm going to just create only three load cases so the first one i have is my dead load dead load then the next one i have is my soil load soil load one next one is soil load two Under my dead load the first one i have is and the most important load there is my self weight so assign to select it, add then assign to view because i need to calculate the self weight of all the place here then under that i have for my asphalt now the asphalt the to get the um total load on my asphalt i have to get the what thick what thickness am i using for my asphalt so i'm assuming i'm using 75 mm thickness and what is the unit weight unit weight of asphalt which is about I'm coming about 2.24 so multiply 2.24 times 75 2.24 times 75 so that's about 1.68 so i'll my i'll use a value of minus 2 so plate load gy minus 2 Add close. I'm assigning this to view. Then I'm going to assign this to the top slab. So go to the view, front view. Highlight this slab only because this is where the vehicle will be passing through. Then assign to selected plates. Assign to selected plates. So you can see it's going down. So we're satisfied with that. The next one is our soil load one. Now soil load to get your soil load. I hope you can remember our rank kinds formula. One minus sine theta over one plus sine theta will give us to get to those formulas. Okay. So in this video, I'm just going to be assuming some values. So my plate load. Then I'm going to hydrostatic to give me the trapezoidal triangular load rather. So the first thing I'm going to do is once I select my hydrostatic, I'll select this plate and highlight the particular plates I want to assign it to. So once I've highlighted it, I can see that it's that particular plate, then done. Okay, so my W1, that is the minimum, and I want the minimum, that's the one at the base, closer to zero. So I want it to be 10 kN per meter, and the maximum, I want it to be 1, uh, one kN. So interpolate along the Y, yes, I want it to interpolate along the Y axis, so I'll select Y. If I interpolate along the X axis, it will interpolate towards this, which is not possible. So along the y-axis, then direction of the pressure, I want it to be the global x direction. So I'll add. So you can see it. You can see it. Okay. So I'll do the same thing for the other plates. So display of structure, front view. Select this particular plate. New view. Okay, so I can see this. Now the next thing I'll do is my soil load to add. I'll go to plate load, then I'll go to hydrostatic. So I'll select the particular plates I want. So I light this plate, then click done. Same thing. I'm going to do minus ten in the y direction, global x. So add close. So I can see this. So display structure now in this case if you want to apply vehicular loading the first thing you're going to do is you're going to you have to create beams so probably create your beam whatever direction you want then once you are done with that you will define your load vehicle your load definition you define uh, the vehicle definition you define it then you come back and generate it but in this video i'm not going to apply load and vehicular loadings to it so from there the next thing i'll do now is create my load combination i'll go to utilities user tools euro code okay try and generate it euro code okay it's not going add i'll generate manually define so i'll just use a value of 1.2 i'm bringing all these load cases use okay so i have this so you can see all our load then the next thing I do is analysis, 
define command just the normal linear analysis add close then run analysis so let's see if we have any one you know error okay so we have two errors let's see what our errors are okay so i didn't put any subgrade modulus so i'll go back to my support and insert a subgrade modulus okay so i'm assuming the subgrade modulus as a hundred thousand then change so run the analysis again okay so it's going So zero error zero one in three nodes. You can go to our post processing. Let me check for the list combination so I can remove these three. This my post results. Maximum absolute. I can see my maximum absolute. Okay, I can see the with the stress contour at this point. I can see this. Then the next thing I'll check is my moments. Mx and my. So this is my MX apply. Okay, you can see it. Then you can see my MY. Okay, apply. You can see it. Then you can also see your torsional moments. Okay, see on the corners. So these values for your torsional moments, what you do is okay. Let me. Sorry, trying to rotate it. Okay, so you can see what is inside with these rotational tools. So, what you're now doing now is take your um, results from here and you can use your wood and armor equation to design this lab. So, thank you for watching today's video on COVID. Please, if you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section. Thank you very much.